What's going on? I'm Josh Hackett, CEO of EHP Consulting Group. We are a consulting company, and let me just show you. Boom, there I am with my hat on, but we are a consultant company that's gonna help you manage products, launch products, we even help you create an invention. We have small clients that have uh, maybe a little boutique to even larger clients that have been featured on Shark Tank and are making multi-million dollars. So we work with small, middle, and large. Also clients who don't have any products and have an idea where they want us to figure out an invention for them doing product research. So uh, feel free to reach out to us, but let me dive into the video. All right, I am super excited because I'm going to be showing you how to get the adult product flag removed. This is a hidden secret, it seems like. Nobody on YouTube is showing you how to do this. They're showing you how to file a ticket, but not the step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step procedures on how to do this. I'm gonna show you it today, the step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step procedures to remove the adult flag and also to get that sales rank back and start generating sales again. So let's dive in and go from there. I'm gonna be giving you a free guide actually on how to do this because there's so many steps and we're gonna go over what the heck an adult flag is. So how often, so let's go through it. How often do I have to contact Amazon to get the adult flag removed? Every single day. So unfortunately, this type of task is a daily task. If you need help with this, you can reach out to us. We can uh, do it for you but it's an everyday kind of task. So you need to be calling Amazon every single day to get this successfully completed. Not emailing, calling. Adult flag, it's gonna decrease uh, on average. We've seen a decrease, so times 10. So whatever you're selling, it's gonna be a times 10 decrease. Um, so your sales will become almost nothing. You could still be generating sales. You're just gonna be almost impossible to find on Amazon. You're going to lose your rank. You're not going to be able to run Amazon ads and uh, and things like that. It's going to take one week minimum up to three months to get this removed. It could be worth it depending on your item. How do I know if I have an adult flag? So you're going to have no sales rank. And when you, you're generating sales, but you have no sales rank pretty much. And then you contact Amazon, and then they're going to tell you you don't have uh, you don't have a sales rank because you're marked as an adult product. When you have a sales rank, it's resolved. So you'll know that the issue has been resolved when you have a sales rank. Who removes the adult flag? The internal team. So somebody manually goes in and then removes the adult flag, and it's called the internal team is gonna be the one that removes it. Here's the policy. So this is the adult products policy. If your product falls under any of these, it's considered an adult product. Now, if your product is under one of these, we can still get the adult product removed, right? If your product isn't under one of these, we can get the adult product removed. So no matter what, we can get your adult product flag removed. You can as well. But it's going to be more difficult if it's under one of these, right? Because if you're if you're selling a sex doll, it's going to be hard to convince Amazon that it's not for only adults, that it's an adult product because it's simply under there. But I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step, and you need to know the policy. So when you're disputing it with Amazon, you say, hey, look, my product's not under here. My product is a multivitamin. It's not a adult product, an adult sexual product. And you need to know the teams at Amazon. So this is something. So when you call Amazon, you talk to seller support. Then you can escalate it and request a call back. You can escalate it and talk to the catalog team. Escalation three is the captive team. Escalation four is the leadership team. And the other teams are the brand registry team. You also have the executive relations team and you don't wanna reach out to them. So the only teams that you're going to be talking to is the leadership team, the catalog team, and the seller support team. 
So again, the catalog team, the leadership team, and the seller support team. That's who you're gonna be talking to to get this resolved. Mainly the catalog team, okay? So first, I'm gonna show you some examples of adult, adult products and one with the flag and one without the adult product flag. So here is, this is for your butt. This is an example of an adult product. Now it's not marked as an adult product. So if we go down, we can see it has a sales rank. So it's not an adult product. It's not marked as an adult product yet. Maybe at some point, but it's not right now. It doesn't have the adult product flag. Okay, here it is. Now this is, here's another listing. Okay, now this one does, they look exactly the same. They are practically exactly the same. This one does have the adult product flag. And we can see because it doesn't have a sales rank at all. So it has reviews. It's obviously generated sales because it has verified reviews. So it should have a sales rank. And it doesn't because it's marked as an adult. This one used to be marked as an adult. Okay, so this is a female libido enhancer. Let me scroll down. Female libido enhancer. This one was marked as an adult. They did some changes, so now it's not marked as an adult. Okay, so again, not adult. Even though it's the same product, this is an adult. This used to be an adult product and they got the adult flag removed. This one is a Kegel, Kegel weights. And this one, let's see, this one's marked as an adult. It doesn't have a sales rank. And here is almost the same device. It is the same device. And this one has a sales rank. So pretty much it's on a case by case basis. And I'm just kind of showing you that even the adult products cannot be marked as an adult. We're gonna go through the steps now. Step one is to contact Amazon and confirm it has an adult flag. So you need to know it has an adult, if it's an adult, if it has an adult flag, right? So the sales rank will be missing. So you'd contact Amazon and say, hey, by Amazon, I would like to escalate this to the catalog team. This is a catalog issue. Can you please transfer me to the catalog team? Why? My product doesn't have a sales rank. I think it's because it has an adult product flag. I need to be transferred to the catalog team. They will transfer you to the catalog team. Tell the catalog team, hey, can you confirm if my product is marked as an adult product? Because I don't see my sales rank. Sure. Let me check. Okay, it does have an adult flag. If it doesn't have an adult flag, then tell them, hey, I need my sales rank back on. You recommended to call, talk to the catalog team. And call Amazon again, and then turn to the catalog team. Say, what's causing the adult flag? Can you, can you look at my listing personally, please? And tell me, is it the images? Is it the text? Is it the title? Is it the description? Is it the A plus content? Is it the back end keywords? What is it? We're going to look at this listing and say it has the word rectal or something. It has the word rectal in the title, in the images, remove the word rectal. So now you remove the word rectal. You edit the images, you just uh, change it, you edit it, the designer, and then just put trainer sizes five to eight. You remove the word rectal. Pull Amazon back again. And then ask the same thing for step two. Is there anything else? Do you see, is my product looking like an adult product? Can you actually look at the listing for me? Uh, yeah, talk to the catalog team. What's What's going on? What's wrong with it? Is there anything? Oh, it's the images. You need to change it. And then you see that this one isn't marked as an adult and this one is. So maybe you can change it to more of like a, uh, remove the box and then remove all of the images except for one. 
image and you just have the image of these or maybe just one of these and have it wrapped around somebody's hand like a, a stress like a stress ball right that's not an adult product so it's like a stress thing you squeeze it when you're mad something like that and then that is going and then you you change everything you change to that it's a, it's it's for it's to help your muscles it's for stress they're going to look into it that's an example of what you can change it to. If Amazon does not pinpoint the issue, so if they if they if they submitted it, that's when you change it to, like I said, like a stress ball. So you got to figure out a way. You got to remove the title, the bullet points, the back end keywords. Replace it with a listing copy that is a hundred percent not adult. So if you're selling these, these used to say Space Disco Performance Female Enhancement. Right now it says for her. It used to say, let's look at the reviews. It used to say too wet. So female enhancement too wet. And that probably triggered it where Amazon was like, oh gosh, this is a, an adult product. They changed it to a multivitamin and they changed it from her, for her to too wet. A designer was able to do this, maybe on Fiverr or somebody on their team. They changed it and they were able to get the sales rank back. So if Amazon's not pinpointing it or they say, look, your product says too wet on it, or not, that is for an adult. Then what you need to do is you need to remove everything and change it. Make sure it's for all ages, right? So if you can put for all ages, so if you put made in the USA for all ages or something like that, that's going to help. Replace all the photos, A plus content, brand story and product videos. You're gonna have to replace all of this. Go to Amazon, ensure it's updated, review all the back end of the listing. Then you're gonna contact Amazon and say, hey, look, there was an error on my listing. The images were showing the wrong text, like it was an adult product, but it's actually a multivitamin for women, for all ages. I wanna be transferred to the catalog team. Catalog team, hey, can you look at my listing? For some reason, it's marked as an adult product. But as you can see, it's a multi multivitamin for women. It, can you check and see if there's like any backend keywords that are causing an error? And if they say, oh, we found a backend keyword that says libido on the phone, say, please, please, can you please remove that from me right now? And can you please triple check to see if there's anything else? I can't remove it on my end. Can you remove any of the keywords that you see? They remove them all and they say, okay, we remove, we remove them all. Now we're going to submit a ticket to get your adult flag removed. And you keep going through that process where you're calling what's wrong with it. Tell me what's wrong. You can see it's a vitamin. We need the adult flag removed. We need it. And then keep escalating it. You can escalate it to the captive team and then escalate it to the leadership team and say, I need to call, talk to the leadership team. This has been going on for 30 days. You're gonna call every day, that's step seven. And then at, every time you call, they're gonna say, oh, I found this hidden keyword. I found this hidden keyword. I found this, I found this. Oh, this, there's a keyword on the back end. There's an image on the back end. I removed it, I removed it. And finally, you're gonna to get to the point. It could take up to three months, but if you call every day, it might take only a month. Sometimes it'll take only a week. If your product isn't an adult product at all, it'll probably take a week. If it is an adult product and you're trying to get around Amazon system, it's gonna take a month, sometimes up to three months. And remember, you have to call every day. Then the adult flag is gonna be removed. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get an email at some point, I promise. It's on a case by case basis where they're finally like, wow, it is a multivitamin. You're right, <laughs> it is. They're gonna remove, we're gonna say, we're removing the adult flag. Then you're gonna open up a new case and say, hey, look, there's no adult flag. I need the sales rank to reappear on here. Can you please put the sales rank back? They're gonna put the sales rank back for you and then you're good to go. After that, you're gonna slowly change the images and text back. You need to do it very slowly and you need to use work keywords that are not gonna cause the adult flag to go off. So like things like a libido, anal, vaginal, things like that. You're not going to want rectal. You're not going to want to use. You want to change it. 
to Intimate Rose four pack trainers. In the images, you can probably you can put the text. In the images, you can put adult text because Amazon's robots aren't really going to look through the images. They're mainly going to look through the text and slowly change it back two days at a time. Two days, I change the title. Two, wait two days, make sure the sales rank's still there. Wait two days, change it back. Wait two days, change it back. Wait two days, change. One thing at a time, two days, and then after another month, your listing's back to normal, sales are skyrocketing, and you should be even approved for Amazon ads at that point. So those are the steps. It's a long, long process, but it looks like nobody online is telling you how to do this except for me. So if you follow the guide, which is in the description, you'll be able to get your adult flag removed. And remember, for one of our clients, it took one week. For another client, it took a month. And just recently, for another one of our clients, which was just like this one, just like this one, it took three months to get them removed from calling every single day. We finally got escalated to the leadership team. The leadership team pinged the internal team and messaged them and then got the sales rank removed. So just keep fighting and keep calling and um, just be be calm and provide as much evidence as possible. Pictures of your new product, an invoice that says it's not, a message from your manufacturer that says that it's not an adult product, that this is for multivitamins, right? Everything, go through it. Why, why is it, what is causing this adult product flag? Thank you so much. Please look at my listing. What's causing this? I've been working on this for 30 days. What's wrong? Is it, it says it's a multivitamin. Why is it still marked as an adult? Is there something on the back end that I can't see? Is there something that the internal team can see that I can't see? I recently updated the product. This is my new product. What's going on? So those are the steps to get the adult flag removed. The adult flag may come back on, but usually it won't come back on for if your product isn't actually an adult, it may be a yearly thing. So it may come back on for a year. Just take it slow when you're changing things back and you get the adult flag removed. Take it slow two days at a time. And uh, that's my recommendation. So that's it for this video. I really appreciate it. I know I kind of went through a step-by-step -step process and I talked about a lot, a lot of if this, then that, if this, then that. It's gonna be a lot of strategic thinking, but you're gonna get to the point where you're just like, hey, Amazon, look at my listing. Transfer to the catalog team, what's going on? And you're gonna get to the point where you're gonna get that adult flag removed, I promise, because it's a case-by-case -case basis. And if you keep pushing and you call at least once a day, you will get it removed. I promise you. If you need help, I'm here and uh, and we can we can get through this. So keep your head up, keep your head high, keep fighting and you will win. Greatly appreciate you. Subscribe and like below if you like this video. I'm gonna be releasing more specific things that other sellers don't talk about. I'll be posting. Thank you so much.